How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a grand old day wherever you are. Uh, last episode we did the mob farm, that's where I've just been there, uh, just checking up the stuff and it is going well. If we have a look at our stuff, we've got a lot of rotten flesh and bone, a uh, good amount of string now, good amount of spider eye. I think it might be in a slime chunk as well because look at this, we're getting slime balls which is pretty amazing, that's great. Um, so that's an awesome thing, that's like a bonus. Uh, so that's going pretty well there. I've also, very excited about this, I've got a 256k storage disk. So that is basically three of these put together and you get a, um, a 256 storage disk. Now it can go a lot higher but that is pretty good. That is a lot of storage. So for now that's going to be good. And I've also, I've also noticed, look at this, we've got a few things with Soulbound. So it looks like, aha, so there are there are different versions of Soulbound nowadays. Um, there is the Thermal Expansion version, which is, that's what this is. You can see it's got three tiers and it's, we've got the old Enrio back as well. Now, the Enrio is the better one. So that just basically, you put that on and it, it prevents the item being lost on death. The soul bound from Thermal Expansion, what happens is that at, if you die with like an item on Soulbound 3, it has a 25% chance to go down one level. And at that point, uh, if you die again, it's got a, I think, 50% chance of going down one level. So that's how that works. So it's, yeah. But I mean, it is very cheap. <laughs> I mean, look at that. It is very cheap. A little bit of essence of knowledge. So that's like a bucket and a half. Uh, and book and soul sand. So that's very cheap. And whereas the end rail one is a little bit more pricey. A little bit more pricey. But uh, yeah, we, we are getting them. So we've got one soul bound there, which is pretty good. And um, also, what I have what I want to do right off the bat, uh, I finally got a slice and splice here, which is pretty nice. Uh, and what I want to do is, I want to make a wireless charger so that I don't have to keep charging um, my atomic disassembler and my, and my jetpack because it's getting rather irritating. And you can see, we've got electrical steel, octatic capacitor and an ender, was it? Ender resonator. And we need silicon, solarium, enderman head, and vibrant alloy. And we should have all of those things now. So um, oh, let's actually just look at the stuffs. We've got some of that. Yes. Excellent. Vibrant. We have a bit of. There we go. One of those. What else did we need? Um, silicon and an enderman head. There we go. We have all of these things and more. There we go. One, two, and an Enderman head. Last I looked, we had one. Wow, we now have six. There we go. That is excellent. So let's put that in here. And this is how that works. And you can shift stuff into it I like that. There we go. That is doing that. That's pretty quick. That's just a double layer. Bam, Ender Resonator. Excellent stuff. Let's chuck you in there. Let's get this. And I think I should have this now. <laughs> what do I not have? Oh, I've not got that tad it. <laughs> I've not got that now. Man, that is irritating. I've not got... <laughs> After being fairly certain... Wow, no more grains of infinity. I need to sort that out. Um, no. This one, come on. That one, yes. I've got two of those now, which is enough to make one of these... Oh man, this has not gone well. This has not gone well at all. There we go. You. Yes. 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 Oh, there we go. We got there. We got there. A wireless charger. Uh, so what we need to do is put this somewhere. Put this somewhere like this, for instance. That should be getting power like that. And do we not even get anything? Is this just going to be charging stuff by the looks of it? Yes, it looks like it. That is full. That is full. There we go. Boom. Done. So we will always have that on charge. And why is everything full here? It's because everything, all of these are basically full. Fair enough. It just looks bad, doesn't it? That looks like, uh-oh, we're running out of stuff. No, we're not. We're fine. We're all right. Okay. Um, next thing I want to do 
is set up a farming station. I'm going to be doing some building in a bit, but I want to set up a farming station first. Um, which means more of this stuff. I hate this stuff. Can we? Ah, oh, we, we need more grains of infinity. Welcome to my grains of infinity farm. So I tried to use a mechanical user from extra utilities, but that just wouldn't light up the bedrocks i don't know why so i'm using an automated user from cyclic it does need power so i've just put a uh, a power cell just behind there and you can see this is basically how did you put that vertical offset on minus one and yeah just on on to use input flint and steel you can see that there and then i've got a vacuum a chest here and you can see it's picking stuff up and then we're gonna just do that uh extract yes and um, can we put insert on here, please? There we go. Insert. So this should be... No? Why are you not? Is there a... Oh, that, that's why. That's why. Yeah, there we go. Okay, excellent. So this should be working. So I've put this on fairly low because it, I think it still tries to do it even though there's a... Um, it's on fire already, but uh, it will do for now. So we should be getting some grains of infinity now. Right then, farming station, next stop. So we've got that, we need a capacitor for it. Let's not forget this again. Capacitor, 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 capacitor. there we go, that's a little bit easier. Um, can we, I think we need four to make an octatic one. Maybe not. Oh yeah, no, I think I, I, think I was right. Uh, we need more glowstone. Let's do a few of these. I went to the nether earlier just to get a load of glowstone. I still don't have that much. Okay, so we, we have that. And Oh, it needs tools. Let's actually see what... I can't remember. It's been so long since I've used a farming station. It, lit, it literally needs everything. Look at that. So, hoe, axe, and shears. Okay. Um, Let's... Why not use diamonds for everything? I'm guessing we don't have diamond shears, though. No, that's a shame. I don't know why that isn't a thing, but uh, apparently not a thing. There we go. And you used to be able to put... You used to be able to put um, Tinker's tools in these. I wonder if you still can, because that would be superb, because you can make Tinker's tools basically unbreakable, um, which would be a good thing to do. We should have a look into that. So what was it, a hoe? A hoe and an axe. There we go. Bam. Excellent. And then I need some stuff to actually, you know, grow. I would like some sugar cane. Uh, let's actually take, let's take four to begin with. I don't know if I need anything else. I don't think I've got any cactus yet. Um, it would be very good to, to put a, a cactus there. Oh, I'm going to need an ender chest. Such are the things that we need to make a farm work. End of chest. Nope. Chest. Where are you? There you are. Can we make another one? Ah, oh, no. <sighs> Two blaze rods down. I need to add. I need to add the blaze spawner to our mob spawner because that would be a good thing. So this is where our mob spawner is, just in there. And this is where I'm going to put my farm. At least for now, I've made like a little clearing on top of here. And um, not in my nine air because that's what I think it is. And I've just remembered I've forgotten power. I need I need power. Oh, have I? Yes, I have. Yes, I very much have. I thought maybe I still had it. No. No, forgotten the power. Totally forgotten the power. Let's just grab one of you. There we go. That's quite handy about the power cells. We can just, uh, well, we can just sort of do that. Just take them away. And uh, they're a pretty good... Come on. There we go. Pretty good use of, um, of wireless RF. So let's put that to out. There we go. Put you on like that. And then you like that and bam bam and bam there we go you can see it's getting power so first thing i would like and can we see the area show range uh oh oh it's not nine by nine <gasps> it is huge i didn't realize that it was so big maybe that's because of the aptatic capacitor okay well that's exciting that is exciting we might actually have to move this at some point 
Um, there we go. Do a bit of that. That should do that as well, I'm hoping. Uh, and that should be planting stuff. Of course it's planting stuff in that corner. Let's do the exact opposite corner. Come on. There we go. Yes. Excellent. Let's, um, let's, oh, no, no, that one, that one. Let's keep that there. And um, because it would be nice to have a little bit of wood. Um, and then I don't know if we have anything in this mod pack to make things go faster. I'm just not sure. Uh, like a sprinkler? We used to have them. Oh, we do. Open blocks. So that's pretty, that is pretty good. Okay. Okay, because we can add that with a sink, uh, and that is basically then, that is, oh, man, I need to get some travel anchors or something to, to make this faster, just to make this faster. I'm getting a little bit of lag as well. Just a tiny, tiny bit of lag here and there. Right, sprinkler, uh, I do want one of those, and let's have a look at a sink. I can't remember, I think we need clay, don't we, sink? Um, can, can we do that? I bet we can't. <laughs> no. No, no we can't. Let's have a look. We have, there we go, we have this power though. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Let's put you in there quickly. Let's get some of that from there. There we go. And now can we do a sink? Yes, totally can. Totally can. Um, now, I can't remember the sprinkler. Do we need to We need to give it bone meal or something? I'm guessing as well. It's been such a long time since I've had open blocks in a thing as well. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's go back. So that's a really weird, a weird sight, but it does seem to be covering everything. I think this has a range of nine by nine. Uh, let's put this in as well. And I think this basically just speeds it up a little bit, basically. So we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna go AFK for a bit now and we'll see if we get anything. If any of this happens, a diamond hoe has been used for something. And I think we, yeah, look, we can put, we can put bone meal in here as well to do certain stuffs. But uh, I wanna see how, oh, there we go. That's something. Are you going to get to work, farming station? Are you going to get to work? Are you going to do the things? That is on always active. Yes, yes, it is. There we go. We've got it. It's it's working. It is working. Let's get some sugar cane as well. Right, so I've just set up this electric pump here connected to an ender tank and a power cell. That is so that we have an endless supply of lava. And that is so that we can power this smeltery, uh, this tinker smeltery, because I want to see if we are able to, um, how many, how much shall I do? Uh, about that much, maybe. Um, I want to see if we are able to make some reinforced um, Mattox basically because that will then power our farming station so the tools that we used went th went through pretty quickly like pretty swiftly so we need better tools basically so I'm, I'm wanting to see the reinforcement uh, if this works basically so I've made a mattock just out of paper we've got five modifiers so like it's a 50 50 percent chance but I'm hoping then at least we can repair it and do that sort of stuff so basically we need a bit of that and then we need we need more obsidian. I've quickly set up an igneous extruder here, just put on to obsidian. Um you're not getting any of that through putting that into input and there we go. We're getting obsidian now, so we're using the exact same uh bit of ender tank here just to power that and now this as well so that should be doing nicely and obviously the sink as well which is a nice little dual purpose so we don't have to worry too much about this we we've got a lot of rubber we've got a lot of rubber here now there we go let's chuck that in here um let's do that bam do some multitasking quickly bam boom excellent excellent stuff right 
So more of this stuff and then, oh, we only need one more and then a little bit more obsidian. Righty ho, we have obsidian, we have gold, whatever they are, <laughs> I can't remember what they are, casts, I think, just casts. Uh, so let's put this in here and then put that on there and then you can see with, with each one it ups a reinforcement level and then that will be the last one and it's got no more modifiers. Durability is... <laughs> <laughs> six out of six it is not a very good um not a very good thing but let's put it in here i want to i just want to see and test it out basically if this if this is a method that might actually get us somewhere to begin with let's put you in here you can see we've got a matic there um let's take you out and let's put you in and I don't, I feel like if you're doing stuff, you should be also chopping down the trees, which you don't seem to be, even though you are in the axe slot. So that actually might, because this is definitely for an axe, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely doing that, but you're not actually doing axe-like things. So that is, I've just spent a lot of time doing all of that, possibly for nothing. I made a paper hatchet as well, and it, this is totally working now. This is totally working. I put the mattock in there because that is basically a hoe as well. And now it seems to be totally doing its thing. I don't know what happened, but it, it, it's working. It is working. We're getting stuff slowly but surely. So you can put bone meal in here and you can also put bone meal in here. I don't know if it really affects the sugar cane. It definitely affects the trees though. And I had to <laughs> look, look at the crazy how far I had to travel to find some cactus. Um, but I eventually found some, so I've put that up here as well, because we will be needing some green dye, uh, which obviously cactus is the best for. So this is totally working now, which is great. So I want to do one last thing today. If you come down here, where are we? There it is. And I said I was going to be building today, and we've I've totally just got I've got distracted. I've been distracted by trying to get a farming implement working, basically. But I, I want to do one more thing. I want to get some travel anchors, uh, and you need a staff of traveling for that. But for that, we need a soul binder first. And I have most of this stuff. Look at that, uh, which is great. I have most of that uh, a soul binder, but I don't have the thing in the middle. Can I have one of these? Yes, and soul, yes, excellent, lovely. And then we also need, we also need to get ourselves a soul vial, um, an empty one, there we go. And basically what we all need to do is we'll need to find uh, an enderman and put an, the soul of an enderman in there. So that's going to be a little bit irritating to have to do. Let's make the soul binder first. Uh, soul binder. Bam. Thank you very much. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out this compactor that we have here and put the soul binder there. That was always going to be my plan to do that anyway. Oh yeah, we need a capacitor. I always, I keep forgetting that because this is a new mechanic in um, Ender IO. So I just, I don't think about it. One, two, three, four. How, ma how many grains of infinity do we have now? Ah, 32, excellent, excellent. And I've I've accidentally synchronized that, I don't want that. Um, what was I doing, capacitor? Capacitor, and there we go, we should be able to make, no, <laughs> really, really though. Um, oh, no more gold, no more gold. There we go, there we go, we're done, you, Capacitor, you, yes, and I bet we need another glowstone. You might not, I might have done a few last time, I think I probably did. There we go, octadic capacitor, let's just chuck you in there. Let's get quickly a enderman, an, an enderman soul. I've already got one, but look at this, there's three here. Oh man, come on, there we go, one. And two! There we go, we've got three of them. Excellent stuff. See you back at base. Ender crystal. Uh, we need a vibrant crystal first. There we go. And then we put uh, you in there like that, and you in there like that. Use player XP. There we go. And 
Boom. So that took six levels off me, was it? Something like that, I think. It, it, I'm sure it's at six. Uh, so we have that now. Um, so can we make this? I've just been making some dark steel. Bam. Yes. And that should basically power up. Yeah, because of our wireless charger. Now we need to make some pulsating crystals. Can we make any new? No. Okay. 27. Right. So we can, what, make three of these? One, two, three. Thank you. And then... No, only two of those because we we don't have any more binder conduit. Surely we can make at least <laughs> some more of that. There we go. We totally can. We totally can. Pop that into there quickly. And um, where are we? One more of these. There we go. There we go. Lovely stuff. So I've saved a couple of soul vials because I think we're going to... We're going to make some powered spawners next episode, as well as doing some building. I promise next episode is the building. The powered spawners won't take long at all. I want to do some building and um, keep getting completely distracted. But um, I want to do some building. I've seen some, I've got some, I've got some designs, uh, sort of, sort of. Let's put that back there and get some more latex, just because why not? Why not? Anyway, what do these lovely things do? Well, they will allow us to travel to different various places. So using our staff of traveling. Can, can I? There we go. Um, so where shall I put this one? Let's put it here, there, like that. And then the last one we're going to put up here so that I can get to these places a lot easier. And this will just improve our lives a lot. Let's... Uh, Mm, let's not put that there. Let's put you there for now. So let's get our staff of traveling. And I'm sure a lot of you will remember this. You can see now when I hold this, these pop up and uh, one that down there. And basically, bam, you can just basically, <laughs> you can essentially just uh, travel to it. Oh, and how wonderful is that? Bam, bam, like that. Come on. Boom. Uh, where's the other one? Where's that? That one's there. Oh, there it is. So you've got to be a bit careful because if you stand too close to something that has an inventory, you end up you end up pressing the, the thing that has an inventory. But there you go. And you can actually, even better, you can name these just so that you sort of have a bit more of an idea. I don't know what that does. Visibility. Uh, okay. Uh, I want that on. I don't know what that does. Maybe increase the range. I do not know. But there we have it. There we have it. So we've done a fair amount. It doesn't really feel like that much, but we've um, we've progressed quite a bit. We've progressed quite a bit. I've also I've noticed that bas basalt we can actually make um, using the ignis extruder, which is pretty nice. Um, look at that. Yeah, we can make it, which is I I like that. That's that's handy to know just in case I need more. But anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. And I'll continue to enjoy the series. I'm very much enjoying it. Um, if you did, a like or comment is very much appreciated. And of course, make sure to subscribe if it is your type of thing. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Hector. This has been All The Mods 3. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.